finish it off. The enemy's strong against slash attacks. Be careful, those four are powerful. Give me a sec, I'll scan the target. Only two remain. It's weak against electricity. What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer Do Do Nine, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona Three F E S. Last time, we further developed our social links as more and more of them become fully maxed out. In between episodes, I went back into Tartarus to try to get that katana and finally managed to get it. In this episode, since I still have quite a bit of money, we are going to start things off with some more Persona Fusions. There's not really much left for us to do. And in fact, now that I'm level 91, I can effectively fuse every Persona. Minus the few that we don't have access to yet because they are for maxed Arcanas. But before we do any of that, hey Elizabeth! I got you a sword. I hope you're happy. Apparently not much, considering it really didn't want to be found. But for that, we get two Somas. Not exactly an adequate reward for our efforts. However, that only leaves the fusion skills. So... Those will all be done all at once, once we're able to do Last Judge. However, in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and do some fusions. There are a few Personas that we can now fuse thanks to our level. So let's see what we can make. I can see this working. So we are fusing away. Shiva, Mother Harlot, and Suparna in order to fuse Halal. An incredibly powerful persona to be sure. And let's see what skills he learns. He'll get Morning Star. Oh, please be Ice Amp. No wind. Um. No. I want to keep No Wind. Invigorate three or Kasha Arts or Ice Amp. Any one of those are, are good to be lost. But we get Morning Sun. Massive, almighty damage to all foes. Even better than Mega Doylon. Let's get rid of Ice Amp for that. Oh. No wind. Hello, seriously, keep that. That's a good skill. And next, Absorb Slash. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Um... Let's get rid of Invigorate 3. 
Why not? Ooh. And salvation is his next skill too. Let me guess, no wind. He seriously wants to get rid of no wind. I don't know why. But regardless, we now have Hellel. A very, very powerful, one of the best in the game. And now he's ours to control. Damn, that's pretty good. So we are fusing away Beelzebub, Scotty, and Cordu. In order to fuse Chi Yu. Another very powerful persona added to our repertoire. And it appears that Chi Yu has an item. Let's see what other skills he learns. We'll get Primal Force, which is pretty nice, actually. All right. And Absorb Strike. Wow, okay, well that makes Null Strike Null and Void. I'm sorry. And next is Arms Master. That'll be good for him in general, but it's still a little ways off. I think this will work just fine. So we are fusing away Hillel, Satan, Beelzebub, Abaddon, and Samael in order to fuse Lucifer. Of incredibly powerful persona. One that has a lot more powerful personas in order to summon him. And let's see what skills Lucifer will learn. Let's see, he gets Mega Doylon. Which kind of seems a little bit redundant because I gave him Morning Star. But we'll get rid of Mamoodle for that. Ooh, Spellmaster. Perfect. Spellmaster has the cost of all magic skills. That is a very nice skill, especially with Mega Doylon and Morning Star. Ooh, and he gets Victory Cry normally. Hmm? Bufudine. Uh, no, because that's his only elemental spell. So I'm gonna let him keep that. Alright, Victory Cry isn't exactly the greatest of skills, so I might not really train him, but having him will be a huge asset in our upcoming battle. There are apparently a lot of personas that fell through the cracks. Maybe it's just because I recognized the name and thought that I fused them, but... Well, I mean, these sort of things happen, I guess. So we are fusing away Ananta, Arahabaki, and Fortuna in order to fuse Jatayu. Where I made this persona, but I guess I only recognized him from potential fusions. At least we have him now. And hopefully his skills can replace some of those weak garter skills. Like Amrita, which gets rid of any and all ailments. Ooh, and no electricity. That's actually pretty good. Rakukaja. Uh, sure. Let's get rid of that. Rakukaja changed to life drain. Eh. That's okay, I guess. Let's 
Let's get rid of Magadu. Ooh, and Magadu Dine. Well, I don't need Null Panic. Hmm? Null Electricity. Um... Nah, I'd actually like to keep that one. Okay, so... Once again, just filling out the last couple of odd personas. In fact, we actually need Jatayu for another fusion. But we'll get into that right now. Well, I think this is about as best as I'm gonna get. Which is a darn shame, because I have a lot of good spells. And he doesn't want to learn any other elemental spells. Oh well. So we are fusing away Yatagarasu, Quetzalcoatl, Jatayu, Horus, Suparna, and Vishnu. In order to fuse Ashura. The ultimate form of the Sun Arcana. And oddly enough, apparently the Sun Personas are the ones that I miss more often. I don't know if it's just the combination or the fact that they didn't even need one for the social link, but we missed quite a few of them. But now Ashura joins our team. Let's see, he learns Tetracarn, which is interesting. But let's see, Unshaken Will protects user from mental ailments. Okay, so that gets rid of some status ailments. But not all of them, like I imagine it doesn't protect me from poison. In which case, let's get rid of Dodge Pierce. Ooh, Mega Doelon! Now that is a good skill. Let's get rid of Growth 2 for that. Hmm? Huggy Dine. Um. You know, sure. This may seem a little bit dumb, but I've got plenty of fire users. Regenerate 3. Ah, man, that wasn't worth it. Oh well, huh? No electricity. I got burned once. I'm not gonna get burned again. Alright. And one level away from Spellmaster. Eh. Not exactly the greatest persona, but hey. He's still a very powerful one. I think we got a good combination here. So, we are fusing away Garuda, Suzaku, Yatagarasu, Gur, and Horus. In order to fuse, Sandolphin. Once again, getting Samsara back into our repertoire. Really was a skill that shouldn't have gone away. Neither should have died for me, but... Whatever. Best to get them back now than to not get them back at all. And let's see what other skills he learns. He gets Akasha Arts. Let's get rid of Hama On for that. And Regenerate 3. Not a bad skill. Not exactly a great skill, but... I mean, heck, I don't need Mahama on if I have Samsara. Ooh, and Salvation. That seems to be a very common, like, last skill to learn for a lot of Personas. Not sure if we're actually gonna get it, but just something to note. Behold, our ultimate Persona. We are fusing away Orpheus and Thanatos in order to fuse Messiah.
fusion of our original persona and the power given to us by death. That brings forth Messiah. And let's see what skills he learns. He'll get Salvation, which is a very nice skill, as I've mentioned many times before. Invigorate 3, which is also a nice skill. And Absorb Pierce. Ooh, what do I want to get rid of for that? I don't want to get rid of Mega Doylon or God's Hand. Really, I don't want to get rid of any of these skills. If there's anything I'd want to get rid of, it would probably be either Invigorate or Regenerate. Let's get rid of Regenerate simply because we can recover HP very easily. And Enduring Soul is the final skill there. And that just about wraps up our Persona Fusions for now. We're only about 98% through the compendium, so there are a few other personas that we have left to fuse. But all in good time. If you want to see what my current repertoire is looking like, these are the current personas that are with me right now. Most of them are the powerful personas that we've created in our recent fusion session. But some of them might seem a little bit out of place. Even though we don't see what we need to do for the fusion spell requests, we are actually capable of doing those requests right now. There are only four fusion spell requests left in the game. And we're going to be taking on three of them. There's nothing really stopping us from doing these requests. The only thing that makes it difficult is the fact that we don't actively see which personas we really need. But since I do know what we need, we can go ahead and knock them out now. Assuming... Get over here. You're gonna be my guinea pig. So, our first fusion spell. With Vishnu and Ananta, we can use the spell Infinity. Infinity grants us invulnerability for one turn. And this applies to the entire party. So let's use Infinity! So now everyone is immune to damage for one whole turn. Very nice spell. So that's the first of these spells. Let's move on to spell number two. And for this one, we are going to switch to Shiva. And with Shiva and Parvati, we can use our Handai. I probably mispronounced it. Ard Hanri deals massive fire damage to all foes. Let's burn some things. Those shadows didn't know what hit them. And shuffle time, like we need 500 yen. 
All right, that just leaves one final spell. There are two of them, and, they're shook and for this, we're gonna want to switch on over to Hellel. And with Hallel and Satan, we can use the spell Armageddon. Armageddon deals ultimate damage to all foes. This spell takes up all of our SP, but deals 9,999 damage. This is the spell that I said could one-shot the Reaper, if you so inclined. And you're about to see it right now! Good job. The ultimate fusion spell. And so that takes care of all the fusion spells, except one. The one that we need for Elizabeth's current request. Sorry for the pause there, I wasn't quite sure how to word it. The persona we need is one of the maxed personas that we have yet to do. And honestly, is fully the reason why I question why it is that this stupid persona is not the last one of these. However, I'm gonna go ahead and change up my persona repertoire just a little bit, since some of these personas are ones I don't really want. So, give me a moment while I change up my persona deck. <laughs> And that does it with fixing up my deck. I didn't really change too much. Um, I got rid of Ashura and then just bought him back just because it, I kind of need him for something else. But then I also grabbed Sibylle and Mother Harlot and used them to replace Ananta and Parvati. We have just, oh, just under 3 million yen as well. So we still have quite a bit of money on us. But, our Tartarus exploration has come to a close. We have reached the highest level that we really need to be in order to do any fusions. And there's really nothing much more for us to do. We're about as prepared as we're gonna be for our battle. But we still have school to get through, and I can only imagine what the gossip is gonna be. getting worse and worse by the day and we still have a little less than three weeks before we can put a stop to it but we just have to endure it until then and until then revolving door social links go oh hey Mitsuru what's wrong No, not at all. Okay, well, I'll have to check my schedule, but if I'm free, I'll certainly let you know. Huh, that was odd. Mitsuru didn't quite seem herself.
not entirely surprised about that. Gold's actually pretty malleable, so... some reason from a teacher. If we don't do anything about it, then those rumors are actually going to come true. We're about as prepared as we're gonna be. So, what are we going to be doing today? Well, Mitsuru actually seemed pretty upset. So I'd say we should spend our afternoon with her. Hey, Mitsuru, um, it turns out my schedule is pretty free. Did you want to go somewhere? Glad you enjoyed it. I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes things like that happen. By the way, it didn't matter how you answered that response. Not at all. Sometimes it's good to just let those feelings out.
Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou chooses to create the persona of the Empress Arcana. Sometimes, just talking to someone else about your problems can really make a world of difference. Even if it might just seem like you're complaining about nothing. It is good to just get it off your chest. And then... Maybe you'll just feel better. What is it? Pathetically? I wonder about that. I mean, we know about her engagement, but if she's interested in someone else and can't stop thinking about them, that is a tough... That's something very tough. On one hand, she can't shirk away from her responsibilities. But on the other hand, is it worth dooming what her feelings tell her? In all retrospect, it doesn't matter how you answer this question. But... Hmm. It's not an easy... What? It's not an easy answer, Mitsuru, but... I think just having those emotions... And recognizing that they're just emotions... I don't see that necessarily being a bad thing. Did I say something wrong? Figured as much. I'm sorry, what?
Dude. I'm sorry. What the hell is wrong with you? You're talking about Mitsuru's father. You and of Mitsuru, you can't control everything about her. Even if you believe in this fantasy that she should be an obedient wife, she's not your wife yet. I'm Mitsuru's friend. Who the hell are you? Then I'll make it my business. You don't need to apologize, Mitsuru. Right. I'll see you back at the dorm then. But... Now for this, it also doesn't matter. Sorry, Mitsuru, you can't go with him. It doesn't matter what you choose for that option. I told you, she's my friend, and I will defend my friends. Funny, I'd say the same about you. Blah, 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 blah. I don't listen to jerks. Mitsuru?
Mitsuru, I... See her back at the dorm, but I think it's best not to press it for now. Oh, there you are. Hey, Junpei. We're all going to uh, Hagakure. Want to come? Hagakure? Sure, why not? was easy. What? I like Hagakure. Akihiko sounds buying. You remember that bet we made in Yakushima? That he would buy us food? Uh, you probably forgot all about it by now. I think so, yeah. Well, you won in the end. Even if it was, I guess. But whatever. Akihiko sounds still lost, right? It took me like six months to make him accept that fact. So come on, everyone else already left. We gotta hurry. Oh, geez, why didn't you say sooner? Good to me. Okay. Five specials, please. Man, this is awesome. Akihiko san's never treated us all to ramen before. Hey, why do I have to treat everyone? <sighs> Not this again. Come on, Akihiko-san. A bet's a bet. Pay up. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. This article looks quite disturbing. Hmm? Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. Well, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. What the? Hmm? There's a picture of their leader. Their leader? Oh. Hey, that's... No way. I is that Takaya? I thought something was up. So... Streg is behind that cult. I've lost my appetite. 
Listen to what he says. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is Nyx. I have beheld her glory and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. In Nyx, there is no pain, no suffering. How the hell does he know about Nyx? Does it really matter at this point? Wait, he's saying that Nyx will save the world? That's not true! I don't think he really means what he's saying. This is all just a game to him. That son of a bitch. But there are those who do not understand this truth, even though they have also been blessed by her. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it, using it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Wait, is he talking about us? Shh, not so loud. Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up with them calling him the charismatic one? How did he get so popular all of a sudden? Well, Jin's pretty well known on the internet. He's probably pretty good at stirring up trouble. Yeah, I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame. Oh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is here. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Look around, Junpei. Do you even need to ask? Throughout history, those who have changed the future have often been highly charismatic. That's the end of the article. It appears that after the interview, Jin and Takaya disappeared again. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Tartarus. They must have been planning this all along. Takaya's words have changed the mood of the entire city. Even though they won't admit it, they are all afraid. Yeah. I mean, why else would people believe this nonsense Takaya's preaching? I guess people just need something to believe in. Well, no wonder there's a sense of doom in the air. We're all gonna die. But is that so surprising? Hmm? The fact that all life ends one day has nothing to do with Nyx. Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? I guess. People usually aren't confronted with it, so they tend not to think about it. To tell you the truth, I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this had happened. But since we've made up our minds, why don't we just leave it at that? Our objective is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll just have to deal with them too. I agree. Well said. We'll probably run into the Metartarus anyways. However you look at it, we're the obstacle standing in their way. The promised day will soon be here. Yeah. We need to do all we can until then. 
Yeah, and we're gonna need lots of energy. So let's eat. Excuse me, I'd like to order a Hagakure bowl. You don't mind, do you, Akihiko-san? <laughs> Junpei, don't forget you're having half of Igus's food, too. Oh, don't worry. I'm starving. You just better eat it all. And so... More pieces are falling into place. This cult... Is not just some... Random occurrence. Something that people are... Just some random person decided to start just for the hell of it. This cult is being led by Strega. If there's anyone else besides us that would know anything at all about Nyx, it would be Strega. How exactly they know about Nyx is anyone's guess, but... They have personas. And so it may not have been too far-fetched if they had done a bit of research. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Jin looked into either the Kuricho group's records or even Ikutsuki's records to find out about Nyx. How exactly they knew about the coming day, though. Whatever. It's not like any of that matters at this point. What matters is the fact that they are siding with Nyx. They want to bring about the end of the world. And we are going to stop them. Of course they try to antagonize us. We're the force in their way. We are antagonizing them, and... In response, since they have the ears of the city... They make us out to be the bad guys. But it's just the opposite. We need to be as prepared as we're going to be if we want to stop Nyx. And even though we've amassed such a great amount of power, there are still higher powers yet that we can reach. Not through Tartarus, mind you but through our bonds and our social links. Those are what we're going to be focusing on. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 3 F.E.S. We have 19 days before the next and final full moon, when Nyx will descend upon the world. We have quite the repertoire of personas, but our powers don't just come from combat. We still have a few social links that we need to get through. And so we'll be focusing our efforts on those. So until next time, everyone, take care.